And I just have to say I'm very excited about tonight's Story Top because it is something that I would love to see all the Vibes Nation practicing and that is italivity, okay? Now, tonight on Stir It Up, we are speaking to Sister Righteous about italivity. Uh, Maria Matt, aka Sis Righteous, is the managing director at Earth Love Limited and founder of Mama Africa CBO. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Now, Sister Righteous, can you explain to us what italivity is? Hi everyone, thanks for having me. So yeah, to answer your question, first let's define the word idle, it comes from vital, stressing it with the I. And um, liberty is like your life force, basically how you carry yourself, your lifestyle in harmony with creation. So idle liberty basically is eating only natural food coming from the earth no processed foods with additives, preservatives, all the chemicals. Um, Meats also less or no salt, and if salt, natural salt, no canned salt. And um, yeah, organic farming is um, very important to the idle liberty because that's where it starts with the pollution in our food sy systems and circles. So. No pesticides, no fertilizer should ideally be in the food. Um, early Rastafarians um, used biblical references um, where they draw their inspiration for the actual liberty. In the books of Moses, you find lots of references to what man should eat. Um, meat obviously has a very low vibration, and as Rastafarians, we also always try to level up and raise our energy. Also cooking utensils are important, don't use aluminium, sulfurias, use clay pots, cast iron or steel, no plastic, no microwave and the original concept also didn't allow alcohol or cigarettes. And now that we are all clear what italivity is, we would like to know about the different types of liberty. Now different houses have different liberty. Some are vegetarian, some are vegan, some eat just raw food. Now Sister Righteous explains about the difference in Rastafarian liberty. Yes, lots of houses and individual races have different lifestyles, different liberty. So you may find that those who live in community, like maybe in the Bingi house or the Bobo Shanti, that they um, really stick to a strict idle liberty, like being vegan. Um, others might just be vegetarian, you know, or you would find other people, like maybe I see lots in, in 12 tribes that they drink alcohol, they eat meat, they don't really stick to the idle liberty. So it's very individual. And we are stirring it up today talking about Ita Liberty with Sister Righteous. Mm -hmm. And yes, she's so far explained to us what Ita Liberty is and also, um, you know, the different types of houses, how they're different. Yes. Um, uh, and now, of course, we're getting back into Stir It Up. Yes, now we're going to take a look at uh, different levels of Ita Liberty. Uh, Sister Righteous gives us some insight on different types of liberty, vegetarian, vegans, and of course, Dr. Sebi's uh, Alkaline state, what we discussed sometime late, sometime back during a story up, and the highest levels of raw food, and uh, I'm actually looking forward to when he, she starts talking Swahili. Um, <laughs> 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 so yes, here it is, Sister Righteous talking about uh, the different uh, levels of liberty. So when it comes to the different levels of idol liberty you'd find the most basic maybe being vegetarian so meaning you don't eat meat but you still eat dairy products and maybe even fish and um, but then there are the vegans like me who don't eat any animal products and um, then there are the traditional people who would include like that maybe they might eat meat for like traditional sacrifices if it's like the Mau Mau kind of Rasta they would eat honey you know um, 
so about them there's still a higher notch to eat like if you follow dr sebi teachings you are vegan yes but you still don't eat some of the plants because they are hybrids made by man so they need lots of starch that's not good for your body so the sebi i tell liberty followers they don't eat maize they don't eat beans they don't eat cassava um yeah there's lots to eat not even broccoli um but if you google an alkaline electric lifestyle you might come up in the internet with search results for alkaline food which is not alkaline according to dr sebi so there's some confusion and needs a lot of research so the alkaline we refer to is what Dr. Sebi approved and um, yeah from there the only higher notch is raw food just eating raw fruits and vegetables and herbs and that's it and you live good and you're strong you're still exercising hmm? you're still fit so and yes, we are stirring it up right here on Vibes Radio Season Circle. We have been talking to Sister Righteous about Ita Liberty. And I can see a lot of people bigging up and saying thank you. The Ita Liberty is going to help. Now, this is just part one, guys. So we were describing what Ita Liberty is, the different levels. Mm. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, we, we're going to continue this uh, for a couple of weeks, trying to get everybody in that Ita Liberty, right? Now, uh, we're now going to look into how one can transition from their current Liberty to a higher level. Yeah? Yes. Now, what are the, some of the things that you can't live without? Mm -hmm. Think about it. Can you live without sugar? Mm -hmm. Can you live without bread? <laughs> can you live without chapati? Mm. Or can you live without, uh, uh, without chocolate? Oh, no. Now, learning what foods to replace as you transition could make it easier for you. And, and of course, uh, this is that clip where now, where, where now I, I hear Kunakaleka accent. <laughs> Here are now some examples of how to transition to a higher liberty from what you're currently in, yeah? Mm. Yeah, the question on how to transition, it's a slow process. But if you really need healing, it's not going to be hard on you. Because you will feel the effects and you will feel your life force increasing. But for me, it was also a slow process process like I turned vegetarian when I was 11 coming from a household that ate meat every day my parents then after being vegetarian still eating dairy products with 16 when I sighed the light of Rastafari I became vegan and I became more stricter in liberty right using idle cooking utensils no microwave all that and then um, for the last two years, I've been getting into the CB lifestyle, uh, the alkaline electric mucusless diet. And that one teach me to fast real good and um, eat lots of raw food mostly, maybe one cooked meal a day if I'm not fasting. And I break my fast, like my intermittent fast every night around lunchtime in the morning i just take juices but it's a gradual process so i would suggest if you're struggling just leave one thing at a time leave the white flowers switch to brown flowers more practical examples of how to replace things um kwaunga tuko na baraka sana hapa kenya tuko na mtama wimbi terere unga terere amarant Vitu wingi tu yaani unaweza pata kwa uh, soko unaweza na kasi yake unaweza jitengenezea hata unga yako mwenyewe ni such an advantage tuko nayo hapa na ama kwa supermarket pia zinauzwa zingine so unaweza anza kupika ugali ya brown anza kupika chapati ya brown hizi tayari utasikia tofauti kubwa sana alafu uache kula nyama labda uanze ku replace na samaki mushrooms, yoga. Kuna vitu wingi ama unaongeza kula hizo um, grains. Sana sana chickpeas, njugumawe. Unaweza kuwa tu creative. Unafanya research yako kama unataka. 
unafikiri kitu moja kwa moja ni unaweza acha ukisha master hii unaenda kwa ingine kama ni sukari tafuta dates tafuta tende tafuta stevia tafuta vitu vingine ni unaweza tumia kama ni maziwa hakikisha uko na nazi kila wakati kwa nyumba unajitengenezea maziwa yako ya nazi huendi kunonya kwa kwa ngombe and yes we've been talking about italivity mm-hmm. with sister righteous she told us about the different levels you know uh, of livity she's told us about the different houses what ital means to different houses uh, you know it's different for the bingi for the bobo for the 12 tribes of israel but uh, fa- a musical sheriff's favorite part is when she's explaining in kiswahili Goja, Goja. how to I-, I need to talk to transition to, to, to sister righteous sister righteous yo sister righteous Ma- aka maria uh-huh. Uh-huh. AKA Mama Africa. Uh-huh. We shall discuss later how I'm going to marry you but now <laughs> I want to know. I would like to know how do you get that Luya accent? <laughs> As in when Mlami, how do you get that Luya accent? Yani Western. Yani guys, what what are Vibes Nation, did you hear that? Yes. There's that Kaluya accent, yani nzuri tu. Una saga. Una siaga. Una siaga. Eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Eh? By the way big up on yourself sister Righteous who's tuned in and akoko to western and you know we had uh, wanted to have her in studio with us yes. but because of cessation and because of covid and all this stuff she couldn't make it but I just want to say large up uh she's a little bit shy usually but she did a really great job and of course we're looking forward to more teachings from you mm-hmm. uh I love the part where you said you know it's not easy but you can transition slowly journey, yes. now sheriff I was uh totally idle for 8 years okay and i've recently been thinking about going back nirudi kwa roots zangu naz naz hapo eh. kuna kuna mali tutakosania tu hapo okay <laughs> asiko kosana asiko kosana ju wenyewe ni sawa I, i would understand if you want to go yeah eh uh, na nitakwambia kwa heri aha uh-huh. eh <laughs> mimi yeah uh, uh, sister sister What? righteous funga masikio kidogo <laughs> napenda nyama napenda nyama eh? it's difficult i tell you Where? it's difficult but you see a lot of italists will tell you it's mm-hmm. easier when you're in africa unajua huko maju ma junk foods in advertise you can nini. see kfc advert yes. 500 times on tv you can see burger king advert <laughs> in in 500 times in like one hour i'm telling you it's like what's going on and that's why yes. places like america have a big obesity problem no yes, yes, so yes, for true. me i found it very important that we get back and 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 learn a, li- a little bit about uh things that maybe we've forgotten as africans you know a connection to our food now sister righteous is going to join us again next week yes. talking about italivity if you have And any questions about italivity there's something you want to know in particular you want to transition and you have any question please head on to our social uh facebook instagram on t- or twitter and you can use the hashtag star it up so that we know your question and we can pass it on uh to sister righteous yeah the vibes is right on vibes radio